So uh, this jazz band has been selected as one of the 15 finalists nationally to play at the Essentially Ellington High School Band Competition at Jazz at Lincoln Center in New York City next weekend. <clears throat> And there's a lot that's significant about it. It's one of the, it's the premier amateur music festival in the world, in any genre. And uh, these kids are gonna be treated like professionals. And they're gonna interact with the Lincoln Center Jazz Orchestra and 16 of the very, 15 of the very best uh, high school bands in the world, actually. And um, so we hope you'll watch us. We, we're on live streamed at 10 a.m. next Saturday at Jazz at Lincoln Center. You can go to their website and watch us perform. Um, <clears throat> Wednesday night this week is our annual FMA Jazz Festival, the 10th, and at 7 o'clock we'll be performing uh, the two groups you're hearing now, as well as our <clears throat> other jazz band and our other jazz choir and the Ahern Jazz Band with a world-class guest soloist, Mr. Jeff Galindo. So we're viewing this as a uh, a great concert in its own right, and then also kind of a send-off to these guys, because they leave Thursday morning for New York. So we hope you'll help us out and come. I don't think you'll be disappointed. You'll hear some of what you're hearing tonight, but not all of it. This is um, one of the tunes they're gonna play next Saturday. That's why we wanted to do it for you. So <clears throat> this, uh, this is what it hopefully will sound like in New York. This is... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Did you say New York City? Yes, I did. Essentially Ellington Festival? Yes, I did. Okay, just want to make sure. Marcellus, ladies and gentlemen. Kurt Basher.
Thank you all very much. I just want to say one thing to speak to the depth of love and respect that I have for Mr. Massey, what he represents to our culture, who he is as a man. Three attributes I want to ascribe to him and say that he possesses it with such depth and clarity and has exhibited it for such a long time, with such intensity, that he is most worthy of all of us being here. Today, I told him if I had to walk here, I would have walked here. I'd have felt better about being here if I had to walk or even crawl. That's the type of respect I actually have for this man. The first attribute is integrity. Integrity is a word that we hear all the time, but we see it exhibited very seldom because integrity cost. He possesses tremendous integrity, belief in meaning and the value of meaning. I always say when he walks into a room, all of our music is brought into the room with him because of the, the level of his integrity and the depth of it. Does not matter if he wins or loses something. What he believes in, he represents that in his very being and in his core and in his soul and he is most for real. The second is love, another word that's thrown about a lot. Right with love is sacrifice. He loves his kids. That's why they play the way that they play. He loves the music. He's willing to sacrifice for it. He knows about it. Love manifests itself in knowledge. And he has been dedicated for such a long time. I don't, I'm not even going to repeat the number of years because it makes me blush. And the last is soul and generosity of spirit. Those two go together. Soul means when you walk into a room, people feel better when you leave than they felt before you came in. This is what he has. And it is such an honor and a privilege for me to come here today and to recognize him in front of the community 
in front of the kids who are here now, and I want y'all to know the depth of love I have for this man, and how that love is very little in relation to the love that our music and the musicians and the band directors and all the people that know who he is has for him, exhibits when they see him, and the way that they speak when he is not there. So I represent all of them when I say, more than a job well done. The definition of the job. Thank you for all that you've contributed and done. We love you very deeply, and you are great. Congratulations. <laughs> Wynton Marcellus, ladies and gentlemen. Wynton Marcellus. Thank you. Okay, I'm very, very seldom ever speechless. <laughs> but that time, that was Wynton Marcellus, ladies and gentlemen. And he was very kind to me. I feel the same way about him. He has single-handedly changed the face of jazz education in America. And, uh, <clears throat> His work ethic and his talent and artistry are unmatched. He's, and what a beautiful person, can you tell? <laughs>